The legendary James Brown is all over the lobby of WJBE in Knoxville. In the late 60s, Brown bought a radio station right here in Knoxville, changing its name to WJBE. And that's where the call letters are from, is James Brown Enterprise. You may recognize Joe Armstrong. He's a Democratic state representative from Knoxville. What's going on, man? You doing all right? But Armstrong wears a number of hats, including CEO of WJBE, which he named the radio station he bought in 2020. At that time it was WWAM and so we brought back the call letters of uh, WJBE. As a UT student in the late 70s, Armstrong worked as a salesman for James Brown's WJBE before Brown sold the station. Me and Joe were the only two originals at this station that was at the, the real original station. Alice Andrews is administrative assistant here now and was traffic director at the original WJBE. Oh, it's a pleasure. Bring life back into it once again. And it's, it's, a, it's a pleasure. It's almost like the ghost of James Brown coming back and being in the community again, and it's, and it's, it's special. News director Gene Thomas Jr. says he and Armstrong spoke in 2010 about a need in Knoxville. He said one of the things that was missing was that this community here in Knoxville did not have an African-American radio station. We we're missing a flavor and a culture. So this helped bring that back and really uh, it has just been a blessing, all the outpouring. So if the late, great James Brown could see the new WJBE, there's a good guess what he might say. <laughs> In East Knoxville, Becca Hobbiger, WBIR 10 News.